Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakar. I am back with another video. In this video, I will tell you guys how to calculate the chilled water pipe size. So, let's start. But before starting, I want to show you something over here. Uh, I already explained this thing in the previous tutorial, but I will explain you again. In a case of district cooling, uh, we are using 1 TR equal to 1.5 GPM. And how this comes? By using this formula, TR is equal to 24 GPM divided by delta T. So in a case of district cooling, we are normally maintaining delta T of 16. So if we are going to use delta T 16 over here in this formula, so we will get 1 TR is equal to 1.5 GPM. That is the case of district cooling. So same formula we are using over here. If we are using chillers, so delta T will be 9 to 10 degrees. So by using this uh, 10 degrees over here in this formula 24 GPM divided by 10 you will get 1 TR is equal to 2.4 GPM in a case of chillers. So let's start this pipe sizing over here. There I have an HVAC drawing. I am going to do the pipe sizing for few pipe segments over here. So before doing that I will show you a schedule over here for all the FCUs. As you can see that this is uh, total capacity in MBH, airflow, CFM, water flow, GPM, and ESP, in the Pascals, and motor power, unit dimension, everything. So let's uh, start with uh, this machine, corridor machine. As you can see that it's uh, serial number is 3FBL2. It's a corridor machine, ducted unit and uh, its uh, MBH is 29.39 and uh, CFM is 1049 and GPM is 3.67 so let me show you how this GPM comes out before start the pipe sizing as you can see that 29.39 MBH is the heat load for this uh, corridor machine of 3FBL2 so 29.39 MBH is the heat load if we we'll divide it by 12 we will get the tonnage so 2.44 ton for this machine so if we are going to calculate this uh, GPM how this comes out as I already explained you over here we are using a district cooling system over here so how much ton how much GPM is required for one TR it is 1.5 GPM is required for 1 TR and we have a machine of 2.449 TR so we need to multiply this tonnage with 1.5 we will get the GPM as you can see that the GPM is required for this machine is 3.67 GPM you can see that 3.67 GPM this is how you can calculate the GPM for each and every machine in the same way you can do for other machines like uh, a guest room 19 with 19.47 GPM 19.47 uh, is the MBH load divided by 12 you will get the tonnage and if you multiply it with 1.5 you will get the GPM that is 2.43 GPM is required for this machine over here you can see that 2.43 GPM so let's move to the pipe sizing now so I'm going to do for this corridor machine 3FBL2 corridor machine over here you can see that this machine is 3FBL2 corridor machine the one I was talking in the schedule so you can see that we already calculated the GPM for this machine and the GPM required is 3.7 GPM for our calculated heat load, GPM required is 3.7 for this machine by district cooling system. So now we are going to see how this 3 by 4 inch pipe size is coming for this 3.7 GPM. So let me open this uh, pipe sizer tool. So I have opened this pipe sizer. As you can see that we are using a black schedule 40 pipe over here so we have already selected over here and the fluid is at 50 degrees for night water so now we are going to 
check the pipe size required for 3.7 GPM. So if, if you can see that, uh, but before uh, starting this, I want to show you one thing, a design document, because we are going to do this as per our design document. So let me open this design document, general mechanical notes. These are the general mechanical notes. You have to open this and see what is the pipe sizing criteria mentioned over here. As you can see that uh, for pipe sizes up to 50 mm, velocity of the water should not exceed 1.22 meters per second and pressure drop not exceed 600 pascals per meter. And for pipe sizes 50 mm up to 200 mm, Pressure drop should not exceed 400 pascals per meter and velocity not to exceed 2.4 meters per second. So this is our limitation for do the actual water pipe sizing. We have seen this from our general mechanical notes. So we are going to do the pipe sizing as per this limitation. So whenever you are doing the pipe sizing you have to keep this thing in mind. So let's move to our drawing. As you know this uh, machine has 3.7 GPM so let's move to this pipe sizer if we are using one uh, this half inches pipe size and uh, with the we are getting 1.4 US GPM over here so if we are using our GPM that is 3.7 GPM as you can see the fluid velocity is 3.91 feet per second this is the calculated fluid velocity and the head loss is 15 feet per 100 feet as I already told you our design document from the general mechanical note it says if pipe size is less than 50 mm velocity should not exceed 1.22 meter per second if you convert this velocity in a feet per second it will be 4 feet per second and a pressure drop will be 4 feet per 100 feet so if we move over there, fluid velocity is almost in the border, that is 3.91, actually it is less than 4 feet, but head loss is too much, that is 15.039, that is not acceptable. So we are going to check 3, 4 inch pipe size. If we use 3, 4 inch pipe size and our GPM is 3.7, so we are going to use 3.7 GPM over here. As you can see the fluid velocity now, 2.23 feet per second that is less than our specified fluid velocity that is 4 feet per second from our this general mechanical notes so fluid velocity is ok now move to the head loss if we go for head loss it is 3.757 feet per 100 feet as I told you from design document it is if you convert this it will be 4 feet per 100 feet so head loss should be less than 4 feet per 100 feet as you can see that this is 3.757 feet per 100 feet so the pipe size which we have selected 3-4 inches for 3.7 GPM it is in the safe range so we are good to go with 3-4 inch pipe size you can also use uh, this uh, friction loss chart for closed piping system to check your friction loss let's say our GPM was 3.7 GPM over here this is the flow rate this is the head loss and these are the pipe sizes over here so our flow rate is uh, 3.7 GPM that will be below 4 GPM over here and if we move to 3-4 inch pipe size if this 3-4 this 3.7 GPM cross over here 3-4 three, 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 inch pipe size it will fall somewhere it will fall over here just before 4 that may be 3.7 3.8 feet per 100 feet so as you can see that we already checked over here in the pipe sizer head loss is 3.757 feet per 100 feet that is less than 4 feet per 100 feet so we can use this pipe size to 4 inch for 3.7 gpm so let me show you one more over here ok let's do a pipe sizing for these two pipe segments with the 22.9 GPM. Okay, go to the pipe sizer. If I select one inch uh, 
uh, one quarter of pipe size and I am going to use 22.9 GPM you can see the fluid velocity is 4.91 feet per second that is more than 4 feet per second 4 feet per second is our design limit so and also head loss 8.33 feet per, sec per 100 feet that is more than 4 feet per 100 feet so we are not going to select this pipe size for 22.9 GPM let's move to the higher side that is one and a half inches and uh, give our GPM 22.9 GPM as you can see that uh, fluid velocity is 3.61 feet per second and head loss is 3.874 feet per hundred feet you can see the fluid velocity 3.61 is less than our specified fluid velocity that is 4 feet per second and head loss of 3.8 7, 4 per 100 feet is less than our 4 feet per 100 feet so we are good to go with this pipe size of 1.5 inches for 22.9 gpm so if uh, in the same way you can do the pipe sizing for other pipe segments and uh, you can use uh, pipe sizer tool to calculate the pipe size I hope you guys like this video and you guys learn something from this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos keep watching my channel bye bye